today with uh, Eric Shimalonis to talk about his wonderful composition for the uh, premiere of the Mier Mosaics, premiering in the uh, courtyard on April 26, 2014, tomorrow, Saturday night. And uh, we're going to learn from Eric uh, how he uh, came about the uh, composition process, how he came to uh, learn about the mosaics and, and what went into that uh, process. Uh, Eric, would you uh, introduce yourself? Hi, Eric Shimalotis. Uh I'm a DC-based composer and a uh, fortunate friend of the Center for Hellenic Studies. And so uh, Eric, Eric was uh, present back in November for the arrival of the mosaics, and he helped his lovely fiance, uh, Rebecca Shear, compose a story for Metro Connection about the arrival of the mosaics, and that was your first contact with them, and I, I think it's fair to say it was love at first sight with the, Absolutely. the mosaics. Uh, you saw them arrive, and you decided almost immediately, I remember we met in the, uh, in the foyer there, and you were like, I want to do a composition uh, for these, these mosaics, and uh, could you say how, what, what were some of the parameters you, uh, you came to in, in thinking of your composition? Yes, the Art Deco period has always been a favorite of mine aesthetically, and of course I'm always looking for opportunities to write, to be inspired to write some new music. And uh, yeah, just the whole grand gesture of moving these giant crates in and knowing the artists that they came from and the era that they came from and, and how exciting of an addition it is to your, uh, your grounds here. Um, just seemed like a great opportunity knowing that you guys were going to have a ceremony to welcome them into your space to, uh, to bring them in with uh, some custom-made music. Yeah, and, and you, you were telling me earlier about uh, sort of how you decided on certain parameters. Like when, when you sit down to compose on anything, you, you sort of get uh, a little bit of in, uh, inspiration and you decide kind of what's the range of, well, what am I allowed to do in this composition and what do I want to focus on? And you were talking about the right, like, yeah. modes you went back to and, and blended that with, with Art Deco. Uh, yeah, a lot of composing music is uh, setting up constraints for yourself, uh, which could also be looked as uh, departure points for the music. And uh, there being two panels, uh, two instruments seem the right thing. Viola da Gamba has been a favorite of mine, and it's a, a classic instrument to uh, accompany storytelling uh, in antiquity. And I've been writing a lot for these instruments. Um, and then Greek modes of music. Uh, I kind of looked back into early Greek music theory and settled into the Phrygian mode and the Hippophrygian mode uh, for each instrument. Mm -hmm. So each one will be in their own mode, kind of each representing one of the panels, and they'll come together in very interesting ways. Uh, and it's worth saying, too, uh, the other half of the music uh, is using the early Greek modes and some early Greek music theory. But the aesthetic of the pieces themselves ends up being sort of an early 20th century aesthetic. Yeah, could, could but Art Deco aesthetic. What, what so does Art Deco sound like? Uh, yeah, I mean, it, it, it kind of is the school of music that would have existed, modernism. Uh, again, in that era, there were still sort of the, the classical uh, rules involved with a, with a modern voice. Mm -hmm. Something that Igor Stravinsky might have done, where he still was true to everything that happened before him. He, mm -hmm. he wasn't like the real avant-gardists were that let all the rules go and wanted to do all 12 tone compositions. Uh, uh -huh. um, so in this case, my uh, contemporary rules are early Greek music theory exercised mm -hmm. in a more contemporary way. So it'll have a little, it, it'll be recognizable as this sort of contemporary Classical music. Right? Excellent. And and is the idea that it plays continuously? Does it does it repeat at a certain point? It does repeat. It's um how long is a that? shorter piece yeah. that's probably going to be probably just short of ten minutes long. That'll play in a loop, but it's mm -hmm. it's made to be atmospheric. It's made yeah. to sort of set the mood there okay. in the courtyard and and just sort of accompany the the presence of these beautiful murals. Fantastic. And one one final question, I guess I should ask is, uh, what's the title? I called it a piece of the rock. All right, to, uh, get it? <laughs>